Oh, hi there. Welcome to the shop. I'm Adam from My Trail 90 Crew. Today we're going to be replacing an old selenium rectifier in your Honda 90 with the new Radio Shack model. The reasons you may want to replace your rectifier, symptoms of a bad rectifier, are when your headlight will uh, pulsate at low idle, when you lose ignition power at high RPMs, or if you're having trouble charging your battery. Today we're going to be replacing this selenium rectifier on Kristen's CM91. This is on the outside. If you have a Honda CT90, it'll be up inside. So what you want to do is cut the wires. You'll have three. You have a yellow, a pink, and a red and white. Just cut those as close as you can to the buds. We're going to put new connectors on those to mount up to the new Radio Shack model. So disassembly. You just remove this gasket. Pull the center bolt off. And this will pretty much fall apart. Lots of pieces, and we need very few of them. Now, as the Radio Shock Shack uh, rectifier came, it didn't quite fit over the bolt that's here. You can either replace the bolt. I've drilled this out a little bit, which doesn't seem to have worked, so I will probably put a smaller bolt in later. So here we're going to clip our wires, we're going to strip them. Slide on a small piece of heat shrink. and a crimp spade connector. Bring the heat shrink up. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a lighter, just uh, don't hold it in one spot for too long. So we're going to repeat that for the other three now. So now that we have new female spade connectors on all of our wires, um, I've placed the rectifier on here. I do not currently have a bolt small enough to fit through, so later I'm going to have to find a, a bolt that will pull this plate off and it'll mount through, something that I can bolt this right up to there. But for now, just for demonstration, we'll leave it there. So the way this works, if you have your, your spades, um, three of them will face horizontally, one vertically will be in the top right, then your yellow one goes on the top left. That's your yellow wire. And then your red and white wire goes on the vertical spade. And your pink wire will go on the bottom right. Now the old rectifier grounded through the middle to the frame. This new one will be a ground on the left. So I've made a new black and white wire. It can be any color, just keep track. Uh, I believe Honda's ground color is usually green, so if you can keep in uh, continuity with that, I'm sure it would be easier for you. Um, and now we're all wired up. I just have to ground this out. I'm going to ground it along and put a new connector like this. And we'll ground it in together with the battery ground here. And that is how you replace your old selenium rectifier with the new Radio Shack model. I'll put the part numbers in the description and a link to a, a tutorial forum that uh, shows you all of this. Thanks for stopping by. What do you want me to do? Who are you? Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and I'm uh, another member of the My Trail 90 crew. Thank you so much for watching the first of what is sure to be many awesome tutorials on how to fix your Honda Trail 90 on a budget. 
uh, these videos are a little taste of what we're up to on a huge project we're doing. We're filming a documentary uh, about America, and we're taking an epic journey on these 90s this summer, taking off, taking a huge loop, going all the way around the country. It's going to be a crazy time. So if this is something that gets you excited, like it gets us excited, you can see more information on our Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash mytrail90crew. We've also got an Instagram feed. It's hashtag mytrail90crew, and there's also a blog spot out there with the same name. So anyway, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you around.